So, um, we're here at Cydia, and I'm uh, going to be talking about our new MXNet 10G SDVOE uh, AV over IP system. A uh, couple of things we'll notice right away is that it's very similar to our 1G system in a lot of ways. We've got the little displays in here that tell us the information regarding you know, the IP addresses and custom names I can assign my encoders and decoders. Uh, we've got our control box here, we've got our switches, so a very similar configuration to what we do on the 1G side. We make our own switches on the 10G side as well. Uh, the, the 10G gives you a uh, spectacular picture uh, that in, in many cases, especially if we're playing, let's say, Blu-ray content, uh, that's putting out a 9.2 gigabit you know, stream that we're actually gonna be, because we're 10 gigs, it's gonna be an uncompressed stream. There's really, uh, actually, there's a little bit of room left over out of that 9.2. So we get a spectacular picture without any compression artifacts whatsoever, and super crisp and beautiful colors and all that kind of stuff. One of the other things, of course, with, with uh, anything that's gonna say MXNet is the fact that we have MXNet Mentor, which is our configuration setup software. What makes us kind of unique, I mean, very unique actually, um, not just kind of, but the, uh, you know, the fact that we make our own switches is a huge, huge advantage with MXNet versus uh, other manufacturers out there because none of, nobody else makes their own switches. So if you go and you buy those systems, then you gotta go find a switch. With here, you can come in and buy our stuff and buy our switch and you're supported under the same AV Pro support umbrella. umbrella. And that's gonna give us the, uh, you know, the ability to, you, you'll never have a problem with somebody saying, it's not me, it's the switch, it's not the switch, it's me. You know, you don't get that kind of finger point. So it's pretty exciting here. Um, this switch right here is pretty special. This one is uh, the first of its kind. Um, and we're going to have six, several switches that, that use this, which is, this is a power over Ethernet 10 gig, you know, Ethernet connection, okay? This is the, uh, uh, most of 10 gig Ethernet switches can do 10 gig Ethernet, but they do not do power over Ethernet. So this is the first of its kind. This is a 12 port switch we'll have in the, in the stackable, but in the future we will have a 24 and a 48 as well. One of the kind of cool things, in fact, this is good, is, is the the, uh, the PoE switch that we have here. So this is not data, this is just for power. And you can either go in through the, uh, using the orange little 48 volt power supplies, it's an either or, uh, or I can use PoE style uh, uh, RJ45 connections. And this is 24 ports of, of uh, ethernet PoE or, or uh, inline PoE or power. Uh, and so this switch will go along uh, very, very complementary with our optical fiber switches that we have here, the 10 gig uh, uh, SFP plus switches that we have here. And so there's companies like Clearline that make special cables that have both the power and the fiber in one cable. So it's a single cable pole, but what it does is it gives you the ability to power and, and also run a, a data connection to from your, let's say your source into the switch or wherever it might be going as well. So that's the hardware. Then we have Mentor, which is our setup software. What's nice about this, kind of special about the SDVOE product that is you know, the same on the 1G side is are the image previews. Yeah. This is something that, that uh, you know, is not built into the SDVOE processor. And so what we had to do is we had this big, a special board that pulls those previews out from, from within the control box and then, and then puts them on here so that we basically have the same kind of uh, user-friendly, uh, especially during setup and stuff, that you can, you can see that you're getting actual images and, and, and this lets you know that your sources are actually sending out a signal. Uh, otherwise, you have some setup pieces here that are the same as, as the one gig side. Uh, we can configure and, and name and custom name our encoders and decoders. Uh, just like this, we have diagnostics so we can find out how things are going, what kind of uh, bandwidth we're using, chroma, uh, whether it's 8-bit or 12-bit or 10-bit colors and all that kind of stuff, that's all in here. 
Uh, one of the things that's kind of cool about FCVOE is the fact that we can do tiling. And, and that's different from the one gig site, which doesn't do tiling. And uh, so, for example, I can have up to, let's say, 16 individual images on a single display. Uh, so that's really 16 different sources. And I, and I can move them around, resize them, and, and do things like that with them. So it's, it's, it's a unique piece to SCVOE. But we don't do tiling on the, uh, on the, uh, on the 1G side. All right, so this is the, uh, we're, we're I'm pretty excited to, to uh, talk about this, this product. This is our MXNet 1G, but we have now uh, officially introduced the Evolution 2 processor. It's now a, a big improvement in picture quality versus the, the original Revision 1 of MXNet. So this is the 1G version of MXNet. So one, one, some of the things about it that, that make it different is that we now have uh, support for natively for 4K6444, 10 and 12 bit color natively, all flavors of, of HDR, including Dolby Vision, as well as all flavors of Atmos or, or, or uh, object oriented, you know, such as DTS, Master, HD, audio, all that's supported now. Because we, we're now natively supporting 10 bit and 12 bit colors, uh, you know, the, the, the system does not have to to uh, reformat the signal into 8-bit anymore. So it's, 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 it's 10 and 12-bit all the way through from beginning to end, which means that you, you don't have the compression artifacts and the banding and stuff like that that we have with, with uh, uh, you know, the, the older system. So we're going to keep both of them going. The, the, the revision one is very, very popular in the commercial settings. Um, and, and it's perfect for 1080p type uh, broad, you know, signals. And then for the residential side, you know, we'll, ha we'll have two basic offerings, the 1G V2 as well as uh, the 10G. On the 1G side, what, what, why would I want to go this way versus the other? It's going to really depend on the, your, your clientele. Uh, some people are going to be more budget-minded and this is going to be a, a, a less expensive uh, alternative to the 10G side. There's others that are gonna be, I want the best, absolute best in, in all instances and money is no object. And that those people are gonna to gravitate towards the, the 10 g side because it's gonna give you uh, the, the, the best possible picture quality. Um, but this is actually really, really excellent picture quality on the 1G side with the, with the Evolution 2 processor. Um, is if you're not unfamiliar with MXNet, some of the things that are our trademarks and things that really differentiate us from everybody else in the industry is the fact that we make our own switches. Uh, nobody else does this, but the beauty here is that everything is covered under the same umbrella, you know, support as well as the warranties. All that is all the same 10 year warranties. You know, if you're new to MXNet, some of the things you'll notice are the little displays on the fronts of of these uh, uh, encoders and decoders. That's, you know, that's a unique feature to, to uh, MXNet. And, uh, it, and it allows you to see on the displays, you can see the MAC address, their IP address. You can see the, uh, uh, as well as the custom name that you gave or assigned each encoder or decoder. Some other things we could do as well is control lighting on the on the on the decoders so you can turn off their lights if you install them behind the TVs in dark rooms you won't see the blinking reflections on the back of the wall behind the TV because you can turn those lights off uh, so, you know, so from an integrator standpoint that's a really cool feature to have when you're you know installing this stuff in, in there and um, uh, you know the other unique piece is Mentor itself um, and uh, this is a, a really, really very user-friendly, non-engineer requirement uh, type setup software for getting your system up and running and plugged in and going. And uh, uh, we've had just nothing but, but compliments about this this uh, MXNet Mentor uh, for you know since it came out, and and we continue to build on and improve it and add more features and so forth. This should be available in October. Uh, the V2, we, we, we actually have them coming in. We're waiting for, uh, for, waiting for the boat to arrive. And uh, as soon as we get those in, we can get them out. So we're looking forward to it. What's nice with V2 is that you don't have to have new switches. It, it, it just all, it uses all the same, the same control box, same switches, all that kind of stuff. 
So the only thing that's new is, is really different is, is the uh, encoders and decoders.